What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you notice, I'm standing next to the Sentra, which can only mean we're getting back to the Sentra content, finally. So let's stop wasting time and roll this intro. Now, you've been probably wondering what the hell's going on with this car? Well, actually nothing too big, but I'll fill you guys in. And here we are. Now, when I mean something not too bad or what I mean is uh, nothing like, I don't know, that has harmed or anything the engine, but um, something small did happen. If you guys know, I was working on wiring the second harness which is to control timing and all that for the um, for the gritty ECU, right? Now, once I was finished, I was too eager to turn it on. I did skip one step, which was crucial to protect the coil packs themselves. Um, and that step is something as simple as adding some diodes to control or lower the, uh, I would say the voltage going straight to the coil packs. And I didn't do that. So what happened? I cranked it and it burned the coil packs, but that's okay. Cause they're replaceable. And as you see, right there, if you see it popped right there and it did that, I would say on like two, maybe three of the coil packs. Um, so this one's done. This one is actually good. It did not do anything at all to it. So I may be able to use this one. This one here, same thing, another bolt right there, another pop. And put them back in just to make sure nothing goes in there. And then I think the last one didn't pop, so two of them. And then on those exact two that it did pop, say on this one, this one, it also kind of melted together some of the plug, like the gray edge outer area right here, onto the coil pack itself. As you see, there's a piece there. So when I went to take out the plug, it broke them. So I did get some replacement plugs here. I have four, just need to change two of them, but bought four just in case to keep or have some extra on hand. And then here's the stupid diodes that I needed to add. So it's basically, uh, let me see, there you go. So I just gotta solder them in and that's it. And it's just four of them. It's the, these four wires right over here. So I just gotta cut them and put that in between and heat shrink it. And that's it. And that will protect the coil packs. So basically these diodes just, sorry about that. So these diodes pretty much just protect uh, the coil packs or will protect the coil packs because all they do is lower the voltage that passes through. And that way you won't burn them again. And then also for the meantime, so I didn't remember if uh, all four or didn't know if all four would be bad. So I went ahead and bought four cheap ones just to test. And if everything goes well, then I will be putting back the Hitachi name brands back on. Cause these were pretty much brand new ups, uh, not even one month of riding on them or driving on them. So now let's fix this mess. All right, so after thinking it through enough, um, I think I got it. So what I thought about was grabbing the diodes, right? 
and then cutting them to whatever length I need because I think these are too long. So um, that way, when I go ahead and cut the wires, right? Let's say I grab this one, cut it, right? Peel back enough on enough on each end, and then what I'll do is I'll grab uh, whatever's left of the diode, and then slide it inside of the insulation on each end and then leave enough to where I can solder um, the strands to the diode as well and then um, heat shrink it. All right, so let me go ahead and do one and show you guys what I mean. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a point um, near the low end of the cable towards this side. So that way I can wrap, heat shrink each of them, wrap it, and then it's gonna be out of the way because some of it goes, at least the upper half goes into the case of the ECU. Um, and that way I can just tuck it behind here and all that stuff after wrapping it. Come on, focus. Boom, there you go. You see at the bottom how I slid it into the insulation and then left enough to solder that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so let me grab the other side and see if I can slip that in. All right, that should be hit right there. Now, let me go ahead and turn this off and bring you guys in a little closer again. Now, there's the finished product. Let me see if it focuses. Really, come on, right there. So now it's in. Oh crap, I almost melted the hell out of, let's see if I can get it through and um, seal it in. All right, so I'm all done. If you take a look, they're all in there. Heat shrinked. Now, all there is left to do is make sure I have oil, well, that's all good. Um, change the coil packs right quick to the cheap ones just to test and see what happens. Just go ahead and crank it up. It should be fine after that, as long as I put the diodes in order and they work properly. So let me set the camera back and see what happens. All right, I already checked the oil level, put the coil packs in. All there is left is to get in and crank it. Let's get in the car and try and fire this up. All right, so there we go. Let's let it do its thing. Oh, well, there I go. Um, Whew. All right, wish me luck, guys, because if it doesn't go well, I may end up freaking frying the coil packs again. All right, let's not wait anymore. All right, nothing so far. But it's been a while since I've turned it on, so let's try again. If I burn the coils, then hell with it. All right, let's take a quick look. Make sure 
Nothing looks weird. All right, it doesn't seem like they're burning up. I do not smell burning plastic like I did that other time. It was at this moment that he knew. It was at this moment he fucked he up. Oh, wait, yep. Oh. Oh. Yep. And never mind. Don't know which one was burning, but I can... I was able to hear it. Was able to hear that crackling. Oh, I think that was one over there. I think this one here. All right. Well, there goes that. As you guys just saw, the coil packs were starting to burn. And that just goes to show that not everything goes as planned. I really wanted to go ahead and, you know, try some old school stuff. Uh, that's just the way I am. I like getting involved and, you know, tinkering with stuff and just doing other different stuff. Yes, I know there's up rev and after this second incident, and the coil packs burning again. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just uh, jump to up rev. But yeah, I really wanted to go ahead and try something different, you know, um, and have some fun doing it. It was quite a while that um, I haven't uploaded a video. So um, I was like, you know what? Let me finish this work and go ahead and just have it recorded for you guys. But, but that's not going to discourage me we're going to come back stronger and better than ever. So unfortunately, I'll have to leave this video here. And as always, thank you guys for watching, sticking around. Give this video a thumbs up, thumbs down, however you like. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Doesn't hurt one bit. The more, the merrier. And I do need the help. Anyways, peace out and see you guys on the up rev side.